Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are, I am ACC Disha Chauhan of Proud Print Drama. Welcome. Welcome everyone to the ACCA knowledge level orientation. So in this session basically I will be introducing you to the knowledge level that the, what are the exams, what are the subjects, how do you go about it. Alright, so let's start with the orientation. So firstly let me welcome you to ACCA and congratulate you for making this wise decision. Now that you have, you know, made this decision to start with ACCA, you will be opening a door of global opportunities and you are in the bright path to become a global professional accountant. So, let me first introduce you to the ACCA knowledge level. So, once you start with your ACCA journey, you will be starting with your knowledge level examination wherein you will be having three exams, right, three subjects. First one is your business and technology. Once you have cleared that, you will be giving your management accounting exam and also finally your financial accounting exam. Now each of these syllabus area is something what I will be discussing in this session so that you will know that you know what are you going forward to, what you will be doing. So with that, let's move on. Firstly, let me talk about the structure of your exam. So, one benefit that you know this knowledge level is providing is that you can give your on-demand CBs that is from any time and anywhere. So it's not like you have to give only in a particular month. You know you can register for an exam 365 days at any date and also at any time. Of course you will be given some time preferences from which you can choose. And you can give this exam anywhere that is either from your home or going to the exam center. This is a very amazing benefit. You know, this flexibility that ACCA gives us provides us with a lot of convenience, my friends. Then these exams that you have, you know, in your knowledge level, you get what type of questions? You get your MCQs. That is your multiple choice questions. Now, in your multiple choice question, what happens? You'll get a question and you'll get few options, right? Two or four options out of which you need to select, you need to choose the right answer. You also get your multitask question that is your MTQs. What are MTQs? Basically, you'll get sort of a case study or a scenario wherein again you could get MCQs or you could get gap filling questions. And of course, you need to choose the right answer in order to score marks. This exam is for two hours. Two hours examination, my friends. Two hours. And what do you get when you give this exam? You get instant results at that point only. Once you've given your exam, submitted your exam, you get results. Yes, my friend, at that point only you will get to know what have you scored and then you can decide, you know, which paper next you probably want to give. So this is also an amazing benefit which ACCA provides. You know, not many courses give this benefit of instant result, but ACCA gives you this opportunity when you will get your results then and there after your exam. All right. Now let's talk about and dive into really what the knowledge level is all about. So your knowledge level, you'll start with your business and technology. Now this subject is basically an amalgamation of your business studies and economics, which you've already studied in your 11th and 12th, right? You have done all of that. Also a component of technology will be added because obviously, you know, the world is evolving. Everything is changing. Now organizations have adopted technology. So you'll be learning about that as well so in the syllabus what you have in BT firstly you have your business organization and organization structure wherein you'll try to understand what are the various types of organizations why do organizations exist and what are the different structures that any company can basically adopt then we will also learn about your external environment and ethics. So in your external environment, you learn about pestle, that is your political environment, economical environment, social, technological environment. And in your economic environment, you learn about microeconomics and macroeconomics. This is something what you've already covered in your economics in 11th and 12th. It's basically the same thing. 
and you'll of course learn about ethics which is basically the principles of right and wrong and as an accountant of course this is something that you need to know then we'll move on and learn about governance and social responsibility what is corporate governance basically how these entities are directed and controlled how they are managed and you learn about social responsibility that's how it's so important for companies to be socially responsible these days you'll also then learn about your various accounting system reporting system internal controls what is fraud what is error why do companies need these controls in the first place and then you'll move on and talk about leading of management of these individual team you learn about the advantages of working in a team or groups you learn about what is leadership what is supervision and what is management and finally we will talk about personal effectiveness and communication wherein you learn about the techniques and you know the principles of time management and what is really communication why do companies need to communicate all right so once you have done bt you will be giving your management accounting exam so in your management accounting so financial accounting is something which you have already studied in your 11th and 12th right your trial balances and all of that now in your management accounting basically a company see the costing you know how they will cost a product or service how and how they will they decide what profit they want to earn they how will they decide that what markup they are going to charging so here you will talk about learn about your nature your source and what is the purpose of this management information who really in an organization needs this management information then you'll also learn about your data analysis and statistics technique when you learn about sampling what exactly is that then you will learn about your cost accounting techniques and budgeting here you'll also learn about you know what a variance is your flexible budgets you will also learn about standard costing and performance measurement of course an organization continuously measure their performance to see how well they are doing and here you will also learn about monitoring and control so with this you will then move on to your third subject that is financial accounting now this is something you have already done my friends in your 11th and 12th you have studied right journal entries ledger trial balance balance sheet pnl that is what is all about all that knowledge is just going to be put carry forward and into this subject which of course you will be using in other subjects also of acc so in your financial accounting you will learn about what is the context of purpose of doing this financial reporting basically you'll try to understand you know the regulatory framework what are the various regulatory frameworks you know your iasb board what is an ifrs and all of that then you will learn about the qualitative characteristics of your financial information you'll also learn about the enhancing characteristics you will learn about your use of double entry system you know your books of prime entry your journals and all of that your ledgers you will learn about recording of transactions and event here you will be covering every area like is you will you know learn about inventory how will you record that and you will learn about your assets like this tangible intangible assets you know your taxation and all of that then you will move on and preparation of trial balance again this is something that you have already done then preparation of your financial statements and consolidated financial statements you know preparation of these statements for a sole trader and you know group accounting basically the basics are will be introduced and interpretation of these financial statements you will learn about the various ratios that we have you know gross profit ratio net profit ratio basically to interpret the financial statements how well or poorly a company is doing all right my friends but what does fintram offers you so those who are already registered with us you know you already know that we provide you with acca registration and those of you my friends who are new who have you know just started with the acca journey let me tell you fintram offers you various scholarships also a how you can register with acca so we'll provide you guidance on that as well then all the syllabus areas that i just covered of course all of these areas have individual chapters in them right you know like your business organization will have chapters like stakeholders organization culture now all these chapters have been made into different sessions which will be covered by the various faculties that we have so all of those chapters will be taught by these faculties which will be provided to you on these sessions and we will be covering here all the syllabus areas all the topics that you need to learn concept question coverage that is 
when you are doing these sessions you know you will also be solving the questions so we will be uh, in those sessions doing questions as well with you either mcqs or mtqs so that you will get to know basically how an exam in an exam a question could come and how you could tackle it then what else do we provide now this is amazing we provide you with revision boot camp my friends now this is something which is absolutely incredible because once you have covered the entire syllabus all the syllabus areas all the sessions you of course need to revise and just before the exam it becomes very difficult you know to go individually look at the session that's why what we are doing is we are providing you with a revision session wherein all the key examinable areas have been covered all of those sessions are somewhat you know made into a revision session wherein we will help you to revise all the sessions so just before the exam you can watch that session and you're good to go now we also provide you with the video question marathon yes of course you're giving exam you will be tackling so many questions so you need to have a flavor of it right how these questions can be how do you tackle them that's why we provide you with the video question marathon wherein we will be solving my friends concept question comprehensive question as well as past examination questions so that when you go for the exam you are well prepared and you have nothing to worry we also share with you some key exam techniques and tricks and tips which we will be providing you know, the faculty will be providing you in various sessions revision areas and the question marathon this is something which is of course going to be useful for your students for people who are appearing for this exam for the very first time we also give you cbe training yes now that you have to give these exams on a computer they are not as simple as your paper based exam so you need to get some training on that right because if you go without training you will be during the exam you will be so confused that you know how to exactly answer what to do that's why what fintram does is it provides you with your cbe training heard it we will teach you exactly how does the screen will look how you will sort of appear your exam how will you give your computer based exam and finally we provide you with ongoing tutor support yes my friends you know all your doubts and queries all of that would be resolved by two things we provide here all right so firstly we give you your live sessions when periodically your faculty will be coming in and you can live ask them any questions any queries and also we will be providing you with an email id of a faculty wherein wherever any doubt comes any query comes you can just email that to them and they will be happy to resolve so we are attacking from both ways right we are giving an email id for continuous support and periodically meeting for a live session wherein you can ask whatever query you are having whatever doubt or issue you are having and you can face that all right friends with this all i want to say is all the very best now that you have made the right decision of doing acca and becoming a global accountant and you know wide opportunities are waiting for you i just want to wish you all the very best if you still have any queries any concerns feel free to reach out to us all the details i have provided in the slide you know you can email to us visit the website or call us i will see you now in our knowledge level first session that is your business and technology wherein we will be starting off kick starting off with that journey of business and technology and learning all about it till then this is disha chauhan signing off mm -hmm.